Yo, quickly before the video starts, don't forget to join my Discord, link will be in the description below, and yeah, let's get right into the video. Yo, what's up guys, it's Frosty, and I'm bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I am using probably debatable whether or not it is, but one of the most toxic classes ever in World War II, and that would be the Lewis with Extended Mags, Rapid Fire, FMJ, Hunker, and Escalation. It's just so annoying to go up against. And well, it is also probably one of the easiest ways to level up, because I think at the end of this game I get like 200 and some thousand XP. I don't know if it's this game, but whenever I use this class, I can average, if I have a good game, I can get around 300k XP. Now, as a Master Prestige, that's like four or five levels. Like, that's a decent amount. Normally that will take me... I don't know, two, three to four games maybe to get normally, which is quite insane. But yeah, I do actually end up also getting a double V2 with this. So that would kind of add to the amount of XP, I think, a little bit. Because I know one, I doubles it. I don't know if two would double it again. I highly doubt it because I've gotten just single V2 rockets and it's been around the same XP. So I'm going to I'm going to go with it doesn't. But yeah, I was just trying to level up managed to do this yeah i was hoping i was going to go flawless i wasn't actually going for the double v2 because if i'm going for like doubles or more than one new normally i'll run specialist but as you guys can see i'm running all lethal streaks i have artillery strike firebombing run and paratroopers like i think i might have only gotten one or two double nukes running lethals and then the rest have just all been specialists because specialist just makes it so much easier that and you know like what streak you're on because you can just check the scoreboard instead of having to worry about your lethal kills or you can just look at the medals Except for whenever you call in a V2, because apparently they do count towards your medals. I was always told they didn't, but they do. But yeah, this class is just insanely good, insanely annoying, and will piss everyone off. I have a few more gameplays with it. Like, I got another one coming out soon. Or, I don't know if it's going to be soon, because I have a lot of gameplays that need to be released that I've been, like, wanting to release. I have that 87 and 1 or 87 and 0. It's either a single V2 or a double V2. I cannot remember. And then I also have 180-some kill... TDM, or not TDM, holy shit, that would have been insane, 184 kills on TDM, I mean that's also impossible, but uh, 184 kill game, and then a 177 kill game, and then the next gameplay with this is probably going to be, I got it earlier today, it's 160 something and 9, I did end up choking the double nuke in that game, but my teammates were absolutely terrible, like you'll see in that game they don't capture any flags and we end up losing by like over 80 points and could have easily been a hundred or uh, 200 plus maybe even a 250 like I could have beat my record all my teammates had to do was cap C and they couldn't do that even when I was like just dropping artillery strikes and firebombing runs on the C flag and they still would not move and go cap it now I do end up going flawless for most of the first round I think I end the first round like 78 no I try to go flawless for the second because I was hoping to get another like high flawless like my uh, 155 and O video because I want to try and beat that here soon just so I can you know actually get the record because that's a pretty insane record to have is you know the highest flawless like you got the most kills without dying like that's pretty cool but sadly I do end up I think I end up getting sniped or just die in a really dumb way I'm pretty sure and then near the end after I get the second v2 I call that in and I just lose a gunfight. I don't know how. It was just a stupid play of me. And I ended up losing that. And that's why I died. But yeah. So recently there's been a bunch of like the Call of Duty leakers on Twitter. They've been saying a lot of stuff. Like they've been posting images of World War 2. So I'm thinking they're, it's going to be like either a World War 3 game or a World War 2 game. Because it was told earlier that it's either going to be World War 3 or it's going to be AW2. And since all the leakers are saying that posting the images of like World War II and like that kind of stuff, kind of thinking it's going to be World War III, maybe the World War II kind of era. And that's going to be made by Sledgehammer. So I'm assuming it's going to be kind of similar to World War II. But yeah, what's your guys' thoughts on that? Do you guys think it's actually going to be like that or what? That's really all I have to say. Also, I want to thank everyone who watched my Grease Gun video because that video is blowing up compared to my other videos. So I want to thank everyone for that. That video popped off. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this gameplay. And watch me get to watch me die in very stupid ways. But yeah, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see ya.
searching for targets. Low altitude bomber is out. in the air. Fighter pilot inbound, strafing the target. He is lost! <laughs> 